Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Margin Starcraft. Today's Sunday episode is going to be a little bit of a special because we do have a Zerg versus a Zerg. That's right, Zerg versus R Zerg. One of the most interesting types of matches that I've seen between Rootcats and SPUX. What should we call Mr. SPUX? PUX? Spooks, Spooks. I'm gonna call him Spooks. Uh, <laughs> anyway, apparently, uh, and we will all uh, apparently the guys know each other. Anyway, want to say Root Cats? He's from Root. Should be good. Haven't seen a lot of his matches, but he should be good. Zerg vs Zerg should be an interesting match. We'll see how long this game goes for. I have no idea. I didn't even bother to check the timer. We'll see if it's a long map, if it's a short map, if it's a interesting map to see. Anyway, apparently Root Cats and ZS Pukes do know each other, so chatting up a little bit here. Well, I suppose it is early game as uh, Root Cats clearly outperforming in APM but only averaging an 85 while Spukes a 160. Still talking about uh, the trip to Miami. Oh yeah, let's go to Miami. It'll be awesome. Where the old people live. No, no, no. The other side of Miami. Where? Where the, where the guys from co uh, where the communists come from? What do you mean? The Cuban ones. Dude, you're racist. No, I'm not. Cubans live there and hot ass girls. Good point. So, yeah, Cubans and old people. Let's go to Florida. Let's go to Miami. Anyway, there's Miami Inc. there, so good place to go. Rootcats is sending out his scout, so he knows that it's a standard timing on the expansion. However, uh, both players seem to be having an identical build. However, here comes the difference. Rootcats is opting to go for an extractor, while SPUX is going for... Um uh, for a spawning pool so we'll have but there's an extractor and there's a pool so I suppose timing will be identical on that link speed because of the just small difference in um, build order we'll see if that actually matters late game meanwhile both of these zerg are on Zalnaga caverns I don't know if I've mentioned that already I'm sorry it's been a long day YouTube has really gotten on my nerves today everything has been going ugh, bad when it comes to YouTube just slow upload time uh, that Dead Space episode that came out I don't know about 8 o'clock today 8, 8 p.m. GMT or maybe even a little bit earlier I started upload uploading that at about I don't know uh, 2 and a half p.m. it took over 4 hours to upload YouTube is having major issues no it is not me I've checked trust me anyway uh, other people are experiencing a lot of a lot of similar issues. Besides, sometimes I've uploaded episodes that are even bigger than the Dead Space one in a in a much shorter time. Meanwhile, SPUX opting to go for a spine crawler right here, and I believe very nice indeed. Rootcats is getting one the same. I believe Rootcats positioning is no, no, no. They're identical positioning. Rootcats has it slightly closer to the ramp, I think. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. It's slightly closer to the ramp, so but still, zerglings are zerglings, and they will run by. Root cats is going for that zergling speed. There we go. See the speed, getting a little bit tech there. Um, Spux hasn't opted to go for the zergling speed yet, so he might decide to hold off on that tech a little bit. There's a queen on the way. No queen as of yet. Uh, two queens already here for Spux. Is uh, Root cats actually going for his third queen? Yeah, I don't know. This queen just one. No, it was his second queen, Roach Warren for SPUX. That's right, Roach Warren. So opting to go for roaches. Roach Warren on the way for cats as well. So Roach Warren. So roaches will be on the map for both players. Right now, it's gonna be fairly identical. Uh, Ka uh, cats is sending out his scouts here. His scouting, scouting. Uh, Zerglings, very nice play of the Roach Warren, uh, this uh, placement of the Roach Warren, because the Zerglings now can't run away like crazy. They'll be funneled right through here. They're gonna try and run in there, but not gonna do that much damage. Uh, speed is done, and with the creep of his ally, he will be able to outmaneuver any type of queen and run like the Dickens uh, for as long as he can. Meanwhile, let's check out the units tab. Units tab says that we only have one Zergling for cats, no Zergling as of yet for. SPUX. Production tab says layer tech. 
is that layer tech yes layer tech for both players so just both players opting to go for a macro gain not really bothering for with any kind of early harasses px did try to send his uh, scout in there but this overlord is gonna go bluff when this queen finishes wi with it and as i said spliff uh, so if the, we look at the units lost tab very nice indeed cats is ahead only losing one zergling so far and costing spux a big 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 chunky overlord and i believe two uh scouting zerglings because i don't see what other units lost he could have maybe i don't know maybe drones uh meanwhile roaches on the way how many roaches are on the map at the moment five four god i got a hair in my mouth um five four root cats and four four spux evolution double evolution chamber so double evo chamber gonna look up to tech up really fast there we go getting missiles level one four uh, whoa this is interesting three overseers uh, one it belongs to root cats two belong to uh, spux so spux might be looking to get enough energy for that contaminate and slow any kind of tech research for root cats we'll see if that comes into play or just decide to i don't know spam the uh, changelings we'll see what changelings i have no idea what do changelings turn into when it's zerg versus zerg zerglings i guess so meanwhile there we go uh, root cats opting to come and try and running in here again probably gonna try and delay something from these evolutionary chambers He's gonna run in there, however, he is gonna meet he uh, face first of Queen. What's he doing? Very nice, stopping the lair, so trying to stop a little bit of production. Uh, I don't know, is it successful if you contaminate the lair? Can't you, I don't know, click your little larvas? Uh, yeah, no, you, yeah, you can click larvas quite well. So maybe, I don't know, what was he actually trying to do there? Uh, contaminate on this lair as well, let's see. Um, I don't know, I don't know, nope. No, yeah, he can produce units if the lair is contaminated. I suppose he's trying to uh, try and delay s burrow. I suppose both guys are actually going for burrow roaches or something. I have no idea. Glial uh, reconstitution. That means that I believe roaches will have a little bit of extra power. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, let's find the roach one really fast. There we go. Yes, movement speed, movement speed for roaches. I was right. So roaches are a little bit faster for um, SPUX. So it's now roach versus roach army. Very interesting because, well, it's not really interesting. It's clones, and I'm kind of kind of disappointed at this point of this game of the game. Both players going identical builds. We have four roaches, four roaches. Look at the production tab. Fairly identical. Uh, Eleven ver eleven roaches versus twenty. Whoa, you have to admit in the units tab, um, SPUX has gotten mass roach. Has he sacrificed harvesters? No, he has not sacrificed harvesters. So, what is Root Cats doing? He has a lot of minerals saved up, a lot of resources saved up. Going for an expansion here, uh, SPUX going for an expansion here. What is Root Cat? What is Root Cats actually bringing out? Five more drones on the way, so he's opting to go for mass drones. He has a lot of roaches, well, not enough. If we look at the units, have he has 19, only 35 for SPUX. This is a massive, massive army of roaches, and these roaches are going to be in a very nice position to actually plow through good old root cats. Now this uh, this base is going to be spotted by SPUX, so SPUX will know that this uh, base is right here and might opt to try and go and sneak uh, sneak it and try to destroy it. SPUX actually going for an expansion and root cats has still saving up a lot of minerals. Production tab doesn't... Oh, infester pit. So he's actually opting to go for an infester pit. And the infester pit might be just something for uh, for him to... An infestation pit might be something just to mutate his hive but we'll see meanwhile spux is in a perfect position there is no burrow for the roaches and these roaches ugh, they're gonna get surrounded and they're gonna die and root cats is just in a bad position right now especially because he's opened up this huge tunnel to his main but spux decides to fall out of, uh, fall out uh, a little bit Spire on the way for root cats, so root cats opting to, to go for the air right now. Gonna try and snipe off this little expansion right here. Uh, what are these roaches doing? These roaches need to move in. These roaches need to stop these roaches. And here we have roach versus roach. How many roach versus roach? Shooting, shooting the spit, they spit, spit, spit. Flew, 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 flew. But more roaches coming in for ZPEG, uh, for SPUX. 
So SBUX will uh, defend this base from Rootcats. Meanwhile, Rootcats is doing very nice for himself. SPUX actually helping out the, with the creep spread on this expansion. Just huge, huge creep spread. This queen is going to be a little bit of a downer, a little bit of a female dog. Because, you know, you guys, I'm not going to let you guys creep spread. And oh, an infestor spawning here. Uh, was that actually scouted? I do not know. Uh, clearly, he, he saw the infestor. The vision was on the infestor. But I do not know if he managed to see that uh, infester. Here is the spire for um, SPUX, so uh, for cats. So cats is still going for the spire. Spire almost complete. Spire four or uh, SPUX as well. So both of them actually having identical builds. Only there is a two infester difference. If we look at the units, 61 roaches over 37, double the units of roaches. Uh, there are a couple of infestors here. They will be able to fungal growth, but I doubt that roaches will actually do that, take that much damage. There is. Uh, Breaking those rocks to try and get a little bit of surround here, try and get a little bit of a better position. Now gonna sneak in here, sneaky sneaky, gonna try and break out these rocks, no, and here comes a gigantic fight and they're gonna do army versus army, and here we go, a lot of roaches of root cats are in a very bad position because he knows he is in the disadvantage numerically speaking, and here we go. Ru um, SPUX deciding to break down these rocks and sink into Root Katzex expansion and I don't know does he have enough units nowhere near enough units 34 roaches versus 70 he does have 9 ultra um, mutalisk the mutalisk will play a big factor in this play because mutas can just shoot down roaches roaches will cannot do anything however mutas well mutas are gonna take a long time to take care of these roaches fungal growth on the roaches and that infestor getting out of there with very little HP so here comes another fight very nice fungal growth fungal growth fungal growth fungal growth however I do believe that simple mass of numbers for SQX just allows him to plow through root cats' units and just these few little mutas not gonna be able to take out this army in a time there in time as you can see only doing nine damage roaches do have two armor and they are armored they do have a lot of health so despite the fact that they're being chased off here not gonna happen not gonna take a lot of casualties there meanwhile these zerglings actually running in here didn't notice this zerglings actually running in here and to take out this expansion and they will however they are two corruptors two corruptors are not gonna be able to enough to deal with the mutas however more corruptors on the way eight corruptors on the map versus 13 mutas and you probably heard a car in the background so mutas versus corruptors ah, <laughs> gee i wonder who's gonna win <laughs> Gee, I really wonder who's gonna win. 14 damage versus 9 damage, 120 health versus, oh, I don't know, 200? Uh, no armor as of yet for the Corruptors. However, the Mutas, the, uh, the Mutas um, are in a disadvantage. Are still in a disadvantage because they don't have armor either. I do not, nope. And so now they're just running out of the, running away from the Corruptors. I suppose the big advantage is their gigantic, gigantic movement speed. These are still doing a little bit of damage in here. And we have two Zerglings tucked away inside SPUX's main. Layer Tech is here, you know, Layer Tech is not being, is uh, actually being, um, is not here, I meant to say Hive Tech, sorry. So no Hive Tech as of yet, still hatcheries, getting more spine crawlers for Root Cats. Root Cats is in a awful position right now. Again, banking a lot of minerals. I have no idea why he's banking so many minerals. If we look at the APM, it's under average this is probably some kind of training match and i'm i'm i don't know i i feel eesh, i feel that i feel that this is monday this is supposed to be a monday game where nobody really has you know the desire to play and they're just you know spamming stuff so we have Roaches versus roaches. Here comes the roaches versus roaches and 40 roaches versus 35 roaches. It's gonna come down to well, I suppose, a little bit of better positioning for Root Cats and a very nice wall of spine crawls will help him defend against that. Meanwhile, this expansion is still wild and free. A couple of mutas here trying to run across the map and do some damage. However, the corruptors are gonna just scare off the mutas. A mutas did a muta did explode there. Then it's his little claw. So. Pure, poor, poor Mura is gonna die. Meanwhile, these roaches are gonna move in on Root Cats' expansion, meaning that he will only be on one base soon. While, uh, while, strangely enough, SPUX actually has Hive Tech at the moment. So let's check out the production tab. Corruptors on the way. Still no Hive as of yet 
four good old um, the four good old cats so here comes a little bit of a fight right here these roaches actually managing to do some damage but here comes a gigantic ar uh, a roach army from SPOX 45 roaches versus 44 actually managing to bring down the army to fairly equal however the corruptors are here now you might think so what corruptors only shoot up corruption so corruption will be able to uh, you will be able to actually clearly give SPUX the advantage uh, if if used properly. Meanwhile, Mura's in here, gonna do a little bit of economical damage, but the Corruptors are here and gonna take out the Mura's. Poor, poor Mura's running away as fast as they can. They know that they can't do anything. Here come the Roaches inside the expansion. So now, poor Rootcats is only gonna be on no base. That's right, no base. Only this one if it pops up in time. No base. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Very nice indeed. So, Root SPUX actually being forced to fall back because Rootcats was also laying down an attack, saving his expansion, which is really, really well. But, however, three roaches are three roaches. There are Muras here, so eventually these roaches are gonna die. But here we go, all these Muras. And look at that roach, look at that roach just take hit after hit after hit. Roaches are a powerful, powerful unit. 58 roaches, so both players opting to go for a mass roach army. And I have to say I'm biting my tongue when I said the Zerg versus Zerg is an interesting match. This is not really that interesting. I'm trying to make it interesting by talking really fast. Is it working? I don't know. I don't think so. Is it not working? You find this game boring as much as I do. You probably do. If you do, you can. I will allow you to close the video right now. I will not mind. But I cannot find any other replays. At the moment, no other interesting matches, and I really don't want to cast another uh, Protoss versus Zerg match. Too many of those in uh, me in, uh, in the last period. So now, here we go. Now this ma the main four root cats is gonna be taken out. No layer root uh, SPX does have layer. So now. Poor, poor root cat in his bad position. He's gonna move in because these roaches are gonna pop out. But he's lost his main. He's lost his hive. He's lost his a lot of tech buildings. He's actually researching burrow somewhere. Yes, he's researching burrow, which will be very powerful, very powerful indeed. Because so far, SPUX no signs of burrow. He does have hive, but no broodlings as of yet. No broodlords as of yet. Not even going for the ultra lists. The greater spire is here, so the standing ultra lists. That what I call it. It's a standing ultra list. It's just an ultra list standing on two legs. That's what it looks like to me anyway so the greatest spire is here we could see corruptors morphing morphing into brood lords and that could be just completely oh right they're already here my bad this army is going to go completely berserk there are a couple of muras but if this army gets backed up with a couple of corruptors i believe that spx is done done and is going to crush root cats without any kind of problem and here we go the brood lords moving in here but with so much health they're just gonna shoot, shoot, shoot. There we go. One spine crawler getting taken out. Two spine crawler getting taken out. Just softening up the defenses. And these brood lords are gonna die. But the massive roach, uh, roaches will do the, enough damage. And here we go. Roaches moving inside the line. Cats also opting to go inside the line. This means that this moment, right now, strangely enough, Cats is in the advantage because he does have a mine, a working base. This hatchery with only 186 HP, but it's still mining, it's still viable. And Cats and uh, SPUX has no more minerals to speak of no more anything he's not mining for anywhere so i very nice turn of events for root cats root cat actually managing to turn the tide as a, so to speak because of i believe spux is um, a little bit of I believe overconfidence when it came to those brood lords when it came to those brood lords this expansion finally being taken out so this expansion was taken out and then now both players again on par if we look at the income none to speak of only gas however we do have a slight harvester advantage for root cats so it's been a nice game and i suppose it's gonna end pretty 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 soon it better end pretty soon because at the end of the day it really it really didn't offer me the show that I wanted or I suppose the show that you wanted but as I said I've, ha I've had a lot of trouble with YouTube today and it's hard to find any games I found this one I was hoping that this one was gonna be good I hope tomorrow's game is gonna be a lot better if not at least I have dead space today for content and I might just decide to you know call it off um, 
si I don't know if it's a sick game. It's uh, it's fun to watch when it's just a micro and uh, well, there we go. Calling the GG, knowing that Rootcats has expansions and harvesters and has the income to rebuild while um, SPUX, not so much. I don't know if it was such an interesting game to watch. It was probably a very interesting game to play because when you're actually facing a mirrored opponent, you realize that it doesn't come down to how do you counter this or how do you counter that or what should I build now to try and counter his move or will he counter my move. No, no, no. When you're going clone, you know that it comes to pure psychological mindset and how are you going to use your units more effectively than your opponent and at the end of the day that's what Roots Cat, Root Cats did and you have to give it up to him for that you have to give it up for winning this game despite being at a almost constant roach disadvantage and at the end having to fight brood lords and corruptors and he fought only off with roaches and mutalisks so roaches and mutalisks fought off roaches brood lords and corruptors very nice play at the end of the at the end of the day you the game was boring to watch i will openly admit that not the most interesting game i've seen ever when it, i prefer games where you see counters where you see beautiful builds where you see a vortex from a mothership out of nowhere costing somebody a game uh, with uh, turning situations ever rising and falling and that's the kind of game i prefer but this was a solid tactical game and that's probably gonna be my last opinion and I'm not sad that I'm gonna upload this beside despite the fact that at first glance it's pretty dull it's pretty dull at second glance you can learn from this game you can honestly learn you can rewatch it and just figure how what, what did he, what did cats do here to win and what did uh, SPUX do wrong well thank you guys for watching remember to subscribe hey if you don't believe me that uh, that most my most of the games I've cast are a lot better than this one, check them out. They're, my channel is open to you. All the Margin StarCraft games are there. Margin League of Legends is there. Dead Space is there. Dead Space 2 will be there as soon as I finish Dead Space and stop crying myself to sleep every night because I play Dead Space. Anyway, as I said, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another episode of Margin StarCraft.